Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing well. So going through the SEC dumpster again, unfortunately, no yield max or defines related or any interesting high yield ETFs coming out. But I did find like this ProShares SEC filing. So do these ProShares ETFs have a place in your portfolio? So these are, all of these are Bitcoin related. And it's important to note that this is not final. So this was filed January 16th, 2024. So there's five Bitcoin-related ETFs, and none of them have ticker symbols or expense ratios. So the first one, the plus Bitcoin ETF, is a 1.5x, allegedly, of like the return of the daily movement of the Bitcoin index. And it's good that they note that the fund does not invest directly in Bitcoin. So we don't know if there's any distributions at all. Uh, we don't know what the expense ratios are. But I do know that uh, some of the pro share ETFs in general, they have pretty good option chains. So if you're an options trader, this could be like a good option. Or like if you're a short term trader that that wants to kind of like supplement your income with, with uh, short term trades, uh, this might be something that might be of interest to you guys. Of course, like, well, then how do they, do they get the returns? Well, they're going to like swap agreements. And this is pretty consistent with most of ProShares ETFs. So the second one is the Ultra Bitcoin ETF. So this tries to return like a, like a double of the daily performance. The next one is the Ultra Short, which gives allegedly tries to give you the, the inverse performance of the daily performance. The next one is a short plus, which again, like these, uh, personally, I'm not a fan of like these one and a halves. Like, I don't know why they, they do this. Um, but I mean, I, I guess maybe part of their marketing, maybe they they found something that maybe there is a interest of these. But for me, I, I don't see the point. I'd rather have just like a regular, like either like an inverse or, or like, a, like a 2x. And sometimes like the 3x, um, but I guess like the SEC was, hasn't been very keen on like these leverage funds. So I'm, I'm guessing that's why. And because Bitcoin itself is already pretty volatile. So I'm guessing that's why they, they're they doing like these one and a half x. So then the, the next one is like the regular, just short Bitcoin ETF, like just like a regular invoid, inverse. And what I like about in like the prospectus, like when they do like the estimated returns, they give you a range of like the volatility, and then they also give you like a projection of what you could expect if you try to, you know, like over the, the course of a year. And then the same thing with like the 2x, and then like the estimated returns for like the short versions, like you see like the, the regular inverse, and then you have like the one and a half inverse, and then the double inverse. And you'll see like the estimated range of returns. So you can kind of look at these like at your own time, just to kind of like study like, you know, what could the be like the potential range of returns if you decide to to buy these ETFs. And I looked at just like, kind of like the managers, and like this this person, this George Banyan, doesn't seem like he uh, has any skin in the game. But the the first one is pretty interesting. He because I guess it's because it's new, so like, you know, they don't have anything in this particular fund, set of funds. But this, but then like the first manager, he has some, you know, pretty decent amount, like in other pro shares ETFs. So, so that's kind of like a good sign of like confidence, so like 50,000 to like 100K, that's not too bad. And they, they also manage like a pretty, pretty sizable uh, set of like portfolios. So. Maybe that's why. But anyway, I think this is a good time to be alive. We have like a lot of like Bitcoin options now. And now it's good to see like there's like people are starting to come out with like Bitcoin hedges. For myself, like the regular, like the the geared, uh, for me personally, uh, I don't see a need for myself like a one and a half X or like a double because I, I plan to use like the uh, regular options on like the regular Bitcoin spot ETFs, like for example, iBit or FBTC, I think those will be, be be enough for myself personally. But you know, obviously, like you have to take your, your own uh, 
risk management principles into account and see if any of these might be of interest. For me, I could see myself maybe doing like a like a double like one of these inverse two x like the regular one. And and it'll depend on like factors like such as liquidity. So like the most liquid one like probably get my interest. Like and if I see like a maybe there's like you know uh, signs of trouble, then maybe those will come in handy for myself. And of course, like you know, for your portfolio, don't don't put like like some crazy amount into any of these uh, ETFs, like like twenty five percent or anything like that. Like I would keep my position side like small. So, because I think you know, you, I think everybody needs like a well rounded portfolio. So you know, obviously you want to have like dividend aristocrats or treasuries, like depending on your age and your risk tolerance. And the the risks are like for myself, I don't like holding these like long term because they don't have like any actual Bitcoin, and they definitely can get cheaper. If you look at the like the history of some of the other pro share like the short ETFs. There is a lot of long-term like nav erosion. If like if you hold them long enough, you can actually see your your portfolio like just like get blown up. So like you know just like for myself, I'm gonna use these like tactically, like maybe on a short-term basis basis, like maybe like at a, at most maybe like hold them for like maybe like a month at a time because these are really designed for like shorter-term traders. So just to kind of like warn you guys. If you like this type of content, uh, please consider giving this a like. I appreciate all my old and new subscribers. I hope everyone does well this year in 2024. There's a lot of opportunity. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye now.